Hi, welcome to another Calculus for All short video. Uh, today's topic is looking at a way to define a shortcut when we have a function that is equal to a constant. Now, we already have a, a limit definition for the derivative of any function. That is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. What we want to do is to use this limit definition but apply it abstractly to a function that is equal to a constant. All that means is I have a function that is equal to some value, let's say c, so no matter what I plug into my function, out pops that same value c. So let's look at our function f of x equals c. We're going to apply our limit definition, so let me do that. So our derivative f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now I'm going to plug in x plus h into my function and out will pop c because my function always will give out c in this example. I plug in x into my function and likewise out pops a c. Now before I evaluate the limit, let's do some house cleaning. And my numerator, I've got c minus c, but that's easy, that's 0. So now I have the limit as h goes to 0 of 0 over h. Again, before I apply my limit, let's do some more house cleaning. 0 over anything is 0. So now I've got the limit as h goes to 0 of 0. And the limit as h goes to 0 of 0, of course, is 0. So this tells us something neat. It says, Whenever our function is equal to any constant value, its derivative is equal to zero. And that's cool. And that's a nice little shortcut that we can we can apply. Now let's look at this logically. Um, it should should make sense. So if I have a function, let me just draw a graph here. And in the light blue, I have a function f of x which equals to some value c. It can be any number that I want, but it's no matter what my x value is, the y value is that same c value. So it actually is a horizontal line. And we know that the slope of any horizontal line is zero. And we also know that if the slope of that line is zero, the slope of any tangent to that line is also equal to zero. Makes quite a bit of sense here. Now, I've chosen c, but this is just reminding us that if f of x equals 3, then its derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 0. No matter what I use for my constant, I could use pi. So if f of x is equal to pi, its derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 0. How about minus uh, 1, 2, 3.56? Its derivative is also equal to 0. The derivative of any constant function is always equal to 0. So that's a shortcut that we'll be able to use later on. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.